this quick After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this procedural text reveal. Hey everyone! First of all, add the text to your comp. Maybe copy and paste it from a text document. Then we animate the scale with the text animator. Choose it from the animate menu, set scale to zero. Then we go into the advanced settings and set unit to index based on two lines. You can see the values changing. If you add more text later with more lines, you might have to increase the end value manually. Next, we animate the start property with an expression. Time asterisk three. The bigger the number, the faster. To prevent the animation, we add method round before the expression and move the time expression inside the parentheses. This produces whole numbers. To understand expressions more, check out my free expression sheet. Link is in the bio. To pin the bottom line, we pin the anchor point to the bottom left corner. Add an expression to the anchor point property, var a equals source vector time, semicolon, var x equals a dot left, var y a dot top plus a dot height. And an array with x comma y inside. And it looks like that. We duplicate the text layer and change the fill color. Next, we link the position and anchor point property to the corresponding properties of the text layer below. And we link the source text property to the property below. That makes it easy to change the text. Then we want just the bottom line to be visible. Link the end property to the start property and add minus one. Then we go into the advanced settings and set the mode to subtract. Finally, we add a shape layer. Double click on the ellipse tool, link the position property to one of the text layers, then pin the anchor point to the bottom left corner. Copy and paste the expression from the text layer. Then let's auto adjust the size. We open the size property and add an expression. The first variable var s equals and we link it to the highlight text layer and add dot source vector time semicolon. This reads out the dimensions of the layer. var w the width equals s dot width semicolon. var h the height equals s dot height semicolon. And then an array w comma h inside. You could add some additional padding to the width and height to slightly increase the shape. As it is pinned to the bottom left, remember to equal out the position of the anchor point. 